The unfortunate event is unfolding right before our eyes. A Russian invasion of Ukraine is now underway. President Putin has decided to pursue a military option, and the Russian forces are using a wide array of missiles. The opening barrage is aimed at destroying Ukraine's key military sites, like weapon stores, command and control centers, air surveillance systems. From the images and video posted, few of the missiles used for the attack can be identified. In this video, Defense Updates reports on five missile systems that have been employed by Russia in the initial onslaught against Ukraine. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play online military-themed strategy game Conflict of Nations, which is played by millions of players worldwide. We talk a lot about military power and tactical plans of different nations on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? Conflict of Nations is set in the late 20th and early 21st century fielding present-day and highly modern battlefield technology. At the core of the game is an exciting real-time combat system, placing players in control of an existing nation of this world and its army, pitting them against other gamers in a struggle for world domination. Units are moved across the map in real-time, often taking hours to fulfill their assigned mission goals, allowing for a very deep level of strategic planning and integrated tactical execution. Forming lasting alliances or short-lived coalitions is an essential part of the modern military environment. Hence, Conflict of Nations allows players to form cooperative plans and teams in an all-out effort to conquer set objectives through the combined force of arms. Conflict of Nations can be played in PC or mobile. So why wait? Register yourself using the link in the description below and get 13,000 gold reward along with one month Security Council membership. As per reports, TU-160 Blackjack and TU-95 MS Bear H Bomber have launched KH-101 missiles. KH-101 and 102 is a set of conventional and nuclear-capable air-launched cruise missiles ALCM, developed and deployed by Russia. A stealthy missile, the KH-101-102, is designed to defeat air defense systems by flying at low, terrain-hugging altitudes to avoid radar systems. The KH-101 carries a conventional warhead, while the KH-102 is believed to carry a 250 kiloton nuclear payload. The KH-101 and 102 ALCM is 7.45 meters in length and 0.51 meters in diameter. The missile uses a TRDD-50A turbofan engine, giving it a cruising speed of Mach 0.58 and a maximum speed of Mach 0.78. The range of the missile is reported to be 2,800 kilometers or 1,740 miles although unconfirmed reports by the Russian Ministry of Defense claim its maximum range is 4,400 kilometers or 2,745 miles. It's capable of flying at treetop levels around 30 meters to 60 meters. The missile cruises at an altitude of around 6,000 meters. It has an estimated flight endurance of around 10 hours. KH-31P missile has been used extensively to knock off Ukraine air defense radars. The KH-31P medium-range supersonic anti-radiation missile is designed to counter enemy air defenses and has a high supersonic speed through the use of a scramjet with a built-in booster. It can be carried by a wide range of aircraft like MiG-29K, MiG-31, Su-24M, Su-25T, Su-30MK, and Su-35 aircraft. As per an official report, the missiles employ mid-course radar guidance and terminal homing. 
The KH-31P uses a passive radar guidance system capable of operating in a broad band of frequencies. Its seeker can operate in several homing modes, including automatic search and external control modes. If irradiated by an enemy radar, the missile can perform an evasive 10G pull-up maneuver. It has two types of warheads, penetrating and armor-piercing. It was well known that KH-31P missile will play a critical role in the Russian campaign as Ukraine does possess several capable air defense systems and Russia needed to hit them to gain air superiority. Remains of rocket parts from civilian areas reveal the Russians fired the Smirch. The Smirch Multiple Rocket Launcher MRL, system is designed to engage unsheltered and sheltered manpower, light armored and armored vehicles, command posts, communication centers, and military industrial installations. It's a truck mounted system and can fire about 12 rounds in 38 seconds. The firing range is 120 kilometers or about 75 miles. All the rockets share the same design and differ from each other only in the type of warhead used. Cluster warhead with fragmentation submunitions, thermobaric and sensor view submunitions to name a few. The launch vehicle provides firing, survey control, ground navigation with data display on the electronic map and an automated launch tube cluster laying on the target. According to the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense, the opening Russian assault included 30 3M14 caliber land attack cruise missiles. 3M14 caliber missile is designed by the Novator Design Bureau and is actually part of the larger family. The missile is a modular system with five versions, two anti-shipping types, one for land attack, and two anti-submarine types. The missile is designed to share common parts between the surface and submarine launched variants, but each missile consists of different components, for example, the booster. 3M-14 caliber is equivalent to the American Tomahawk cruise missile in many parameters such as range, warhead, and propulsion. It has a 2,500 kilometer or 1,554 miles range, a 450 kilogram or 1,000 pound high explosive warhead, and a turbofan engine. Similar to Tomahawk, it has a speed of Mach 0.8. It's to be noted that the same variant was used by the Russian Navy to attack land targets during the civil war in Syria. Iskander M was seen to be getting deployed in areas near the Ukrainian border and they've been used to hit high value targets. The Iskander M is a mobile, short range, surface to surface ballistic missile system produced and deployed by Russia. The missile systems have been replacing the obsolete OTR-21 Tachka systems. Iskander-M is a tactical missile system designed to be used in theater-level conflicts having a range of 5,000 kilometers or 310 miles. The system can destroy both active military units and targets to degrade the enemy's capability to wage war. Iskander M system is equipped with two solid propellant single stage guided missiles. Each one is controlled throughout the entire flight path and fitted with an inseparable warhead. Each missile in the launch carrier vehicle can be independently targeted in a matter of seconds. The mobility of the Iskander launch platform makes a launch difficult to prevent. Targets can be located not only by satellite and aircraft, but also by a conventional intelligence center, by an artillery observer, or from aerial photos 
scanned into a computer. The missiles can be retargeted during a flight in case of engaging mobile targets. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.